I am going to make sugar cookies for a doll using cornstarch, baking soda, craft paint, chalk pastels, food coloring, glitter, small beads for nail art, Mod Podge or clear glue, water, recycled paperboard, a plastic binder, or clear plastic from packaging, tape, and glue. I start by cutting a thin strip off of the plastic binder, bend it into a circle, then secure with tape or I can use hot glue on a low temperature setting. To make a different shape, I take a strip and I fold it at one end, making a nice crease. Take the other end, lay it in the fold to find the center point. Then I'm gonna push it down to make a crease going the opposite direction. Bend and curl the plastic around the crease, then glue or tape the end in the bottom crease. To make a heart, Fold a strip back and forth accordion style. After making five peaks with a tail end, curve it around, gluing the tail into a corner. To make a star, take a circle, bend it at one end to make an egg shape. For a set of cookie cutters, make them larger or smaller to fit different size dolls. If I do not wish to use a plastic binder, then clear plastic from packaging is a good substitute. In a microwave safe bowl, mix one part cornstarch, two parts baking soda, and one part water. Mix until creamy, then microwave for about 20 seconds. Stir until cooled, then knead until it is the consistency of Play-Doh, adding small amounts of water if needed. Take a small amount of the dough, storing the extra in an airtight bag. Flatten the dough on a smooth surface, press one of the cookie cutters into the dough, remove it, Carefully pull away the excess, use a butter knife, or cut a piece of the plastic binder to lift it. I can even cut the plastic and bend it into a spatula. Smooth out any raw edges, allow it to air dry, or bake in the oven at 175. Taking an idea from a previous video, we're modifying our cookie sheet by drawing a rectangle, cutting it out, cut three, draw a rim around one of the rectangles, cut it out, Stack and glue the layers. Paint it. I'm brushing a little black around the edges to make it look like it's been used. Using a dry brush technique where I remove a lot of the paint by swishing it around until there's just a tiny bit left and I lightly brush it on over the surface. Allow it to dry. Once they've completely dried out and are cool to the touch, lightly dust them with chalk pastel or makeup. Add more water to leftover dough. Mix until it has the consistency of frosting. Add a drop of food coloring, then continue to mix. Using a paintbrush, I add the mixture to the cookies. Use glitter for sugar, nail art beads for sprinkles, craft paint for fine details, seal it with Mod Podge, and I just start by dabbing it on the top so that I don't move all the glitter and crystals around. And you're done. Happy crafting!
sorry, Sophie, but there isn't much more I can do for you. Great. I'm back where I started, without a crown. I bet Chloe and Apple are off polishing their tiaras while I'm here alone. Sophie, are you okay? Other than not being royalty material, I'm great. There's more to life than being a royal. Yeah, like what? Running track? Huh. Taking walks to grandma's house? Huh. To deliver a basket of cookies? <laughs> now you're speaking my language. We want to give a shout out to KitKat451. What's up? You know, I think this is the beginning of a fabulous friendship. But do we get to eat any of those cookies along the way? 